All right, welcome back to Everyday Erase. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove and reinstall clutch switch. That's that uh, black electric part that you have to remove. That's very common if you're replacing a master cylinder or clutch and brake uh, pedal assembly, which goes out nowadays since the truck is over 20 years old the bushings go bad so you gotta replace them and to get them out you gotta unhook clutch switch so you can uh, unhook the clutch master cylinder so I'm not gonna show it to you in here because it's kind of a uh, difficult to set up a camera I got something better ah come with me alright so you can see a lot better I got the clutch brake pedal assembly out of the truck. Got the master cylinder, clutch master cylinder right here. It's hooked up to the clutch pedal. And this is a clutch switch. And as you can see, you can't really move it. So it could throw you for a loop. It, it did me. I was like, how do, you, how do you take it out? I mean, well, what's going on? But it's actually fairly easy. I'm going to show you how to remove it with one left hand and I'm a righty and if I can do it with my left hand you can do it with both hands so step one is you gotta pull on it and then you'll be able to turn it that will give you access to this retainer clip this is what it looks like it's got some dust on it uh, and you've got two tabs that you gotta press in so you gotta press them in and then you gotta slide this this retainer clip forward. So I'm gonna press on them. Don't need a lot of force. Here we go. It cleared both of them cleared the tabs. So now all you gotta do pull it forward till it can't go nowhere, and then just pull it forward. This is what it looks like. Very, very, very easy. So next step is all you gotta do is Put it back in the spot and then pull it up just a little bit like so and pull on the back side just like that and then the whole thing comes out see you've got a spring in there and this is the slot where it goes right here right here so let me show you how to put it back in so all you got to do is you got to you got the connector that's going to be towards where the mass is away from the mass is on there. So this is what it looks like. You put it in there like so, and then you slide it forward. You slide it forward just like so. You press on it, then you do the same thing. You pull it forward, spin it around. Now you can see the slot. Take the retainer clip, put it in like so, make sure it's flat, and then just, I'm going to do it with my pinky, that's how easy it is, and then you just go click, and it's there. All you have to do is spin it, and it's back in place. It was that simple. So, next let's see how long it would take me to get it undone with one left hand. So ready, set, go. Pull it up, spin it, pull it, spin it around, pull it forward, done. Alright, next I'm going to install it. Put it in, spin it, get the clip, put it in like so, lock it in, pull it forward, boom, it's done. That's how easy that was. Alright, so since now you know how to remove it, you'll be okay changing the master cylinder and the brake uh, or a clutch brake pedal assembly. So, on that note, have a good day.